Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 37. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, YouTubers Love Excel 35 to 39. Hey, this YouTuber asked, hey, I want to build a little table that always will take the row header, add the column header, and multiply by some number. So in this cell right here, it took 10 plus 2 is 12 times 5 is 60. Now I want to show you how to do this and set it all up with input variables so it's easy to change. Now all I've done over here is I have the row um, for these labels right here, these row headers, I have a start which is 0 and an increment which is 10. The column headers I have a start value of 1, increments of 1, and then the multiplier is going to be 5. You set all these numbers up in an assumption table. Everything in the table up here is built on formulas so then it's easy to change. Hey, let's start. Let's click in that cell equals and that'll be our multiplier. We'll click right there, enter. And then equals the start number for the row header is going to be 0, enter. The formula for the rest of the values here is equals one cell above plus my increment for the row header and I'm going to have to lock it going down so dollar sign in front of the 20. I hit my F4 key to get the dollar sign just in front of the 20. Control enter. And then I'm going to drag it down. And then I come up here. The start column header is going to be that right there, tab, equals this cell 1 to my left plus the increment for the column header. And I'm going to hit my F4 key 1, 2, 3 times to lock it going across the columns. Control Enter. And then I'm going to drag it over. Now I'm going to highlight the guts of the table right here. And in the light colored cell up at the uh, top equals open parentheses row header, and this needs to be locked going down, but not to the side, plus my row header, and this needs to be locked uh, going across the columns, but not down, so dollar sign in front of the B, but not the 13, close parentheses, times my multiplier. Now I hit, need to hit the F4 key once, and then control enter. Now we also want to label up here. I'm going to say equals in quotes, open parentheses, row plus column, close parentheses, end quote. So that's just so far a formula which is some text there. And then ampersand to join and then click on the multiplier and we actually need to edit this. Come back up here right before the double quote multiplication symbol. Control enter. Now that's our formula. Now we have a beautiful little table. If I come down here and change this multiplier to 10, notice everything changes here. That changed, all the values here changed, and the label changed. I'm going to say the row header start is 5. The row header increment is going to be 5. Notice how everything changes. Column header start is going to be 5. The row header increment is going to be 13.5. And the multiplier will be 12.75. And so there we go. Instantly we can see how everything in the table. That is how you build formulas smartly with all your formula inputs in an area so it's easy to change, just like magic. All right, see you next trick.